This is a presentation of Welcome Malala, where we bring you fun and informative videos from within our community. In today's episode, Malala welcomes Mayor Keith Swigert and Council President Leota Childress, who will discuss elements of the Visioning and Action Project. Hello, Malala. Welcome to Coffee with the Mayor. It's been three months and uh, since we've had it before, COVID-19 has caused a problem with meeting in person. So thanks to Dave Jackson Studios, we now will place Coffee with the Mayor on video for all to see. Today's topic is Malala Area Vision and Action Plan approved by City Council, uh, specifically relationship between the city and local businesses. And I have Leota Childress, Council President with me, who has spent many, many, many hours along with uh, Elizabeth Klein, putting together the Malala Visioning Plan. And today we will be focusing on Area 2, a welcoming, friendly, and vibrant community with an attractive hometown feel that is safe, hospitable, and inclusive of all residents, businesses, and visitors. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, today, I want to give you a little bit of history on how the Vision and Action Plan was developed first. We, it's, uh, it was important to the Council and to uh, Councillor Klein and I that this uh, come from the community. No one wants a city government drafting uh, things that need to be done and asking you to do them. So we uh, surveyed, met with uh, individuals, community meetings, uh, service organizations, business organizations, and even the high school students, and talked to about a thousand people or got information for, from about a thousand people, 10% of the population of the city, by the way. And out of that, we gleaned five uh, values that we have translated to focus areas and uh, put some action items under them to develop those values further. So today, as the mayor said, we're going to talk about just a couple of things in focus area two. Some of these things, interestingly enough, are already in process or have been done simply because people are busy out there in the community and something would come up that they're doing and it's like, oh, hello, that's one of the action items in the vision and action plan. So we're, uh, one of the action items is to develop and implement a property reuse and redevelopment strategy for properties along Highway 211 and in downtown and some of the things that have been happening, uh, for example, is the Cascade Center that will be going in on Highway 211. Also, a Dollar General store that's going in there. And in cooperation, for example, with the owner of, at the southwest corner of Highways 211 and 213, they asked that that property be annexed into the city, and that is now up for development. Another action item is to improve the downtown curb appeal, paint buildings, add vibrant colors with flowers, landscaping, artwork, banners, lighting. And <clears throat> if you've driven through downtown, you've noticed that some of the buildings have been painting, uh, painted, and Chamber has their flower pots out now. There's uh, some new banners. We just put up the Independence Day banners, but you'll also see some yellow banners of encouragement in some of the business windows. And all of this really adds to the curb appeal and to the warm feeling uh, when you go downtown. Okay, thank you, Councillor Childress. We are now uh, going to ask Councillor Childress to touch on focus area three which is an, an economically sound and growing community, which is evident in the diversity of business, partnerships, education, innovation, and the strong work ethic of its people. 
Councillor Childress. So, thank you, thank you, Mayor. Uh, one of the strategies, or the strategies, that will go into Focus Area 3 is developing and sustaining an environment for successful economic development and managed growth and also to encourage youth participation in job development. So again, I'll cover just a couple of items um, under this area. Create an economic development plan to grow resources and services, such as uh, shopping, entertainment, dining, and generating jobs. You'll notice as I'm speaking here, the new businesses that have opened up in the last couple of years, scrolling along the bottom of the line, and we, uh, the bottom of the screen, pardon me, and we hope that you will uh, check these out if you haven't, and go support them if you will. We have lots of new businesses. One of the most, I mean, it's, we even have a candy store. How about that? And a toy store new things that Malala just hasn't had before, and we're so excited about that. The council is currently working with groups that have formed to assist in the development and support of these local businesses. And interestingly enough, over the last one and a half years, the city of Malala has issued 71 new business licenses. That's not renewals, that's new. And granted, a lot of those are home-based businesses, but those are important too because they add to the economy of Malala. You'll also notice downtown that the storefronts are filling up. There are very few empty buildings in downtown, and that's really, that's another exciting point to me, and maybe I overuse that word, but I envision downtown Malala being a, a vital area, full of vitality, places to go. We have two um, antique stores now. We have an art store, an art shop, dance studios, boutiques. And hopefully, you know, with all of these new things, Malala will become a destination for people who just want to get out for the day and do something fun. In the next few episodes, we're going to cover the other three focus areas of the vision plan. And, you know, we, we uh, will be presenting this in the community at public gatherings. We had a big party planned for April, dinner and uh, telling you about what had grown out of all the work that was done, sharing what we're sharing now on video, but of course, COVID came along, just as the mayor said at the first. But as soon as we can have groups of a relative size together, we'll be getting back out in the community to uh, share this. You'll have an opportunity to give us input. You'll have an opportunity to say, I want to be part of that. I want to help in this action item. Okay, I'm back. Thank, I want to thank again Count, Council President Childress, Councillor Klein, who had the vision to start the visioning plan, and to the Council itself for the support that we've all had during this. If you have any questions on what was covered today, there is a email site to send your questions to. On our next installment, we will answer as many as possible in the time constraint we have. We thank you for attending. I thank everyone that put into the visioning, including the public. One thing, I wanna leave you with one thing that uh, I had a vision of, and it uh, actually has worked out that way as Council President Childress announced. I did not want to see the core of Malala, downtown Malala, go the wayside of a Woodburn or other cities that build around and the core of the city dies. 
And I think that job has been accomplished in spades. It's amazing. And with that, I will say goodbye. And the next copy with the mayor will be announced soon, the date and time. Thank you. Thank you for spending time with Welcome Malala. We hope you enjoyed this episode and that you will come back for more and share with your friends.